Hey guys, it's the Terminion Hero here, and we're playing The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. And we are still in Lanayru Mining Facility. And, um... What am I supposed to do? Oh, are there little walk? I don't see any walkways. I guess I'll just run across these. I know there's a time shift stone in here somewhere. Oh, you can't climb that if you're not running. Aww. Oh gosh. Oh, I guess you can. Alright, I'm pretty sure that time shift stone is in that big pile of dust. Yep. <laughs> the little scorpion guy was flying when the game thing froze. Now, what we want to do here is we want to get on these platforms. And then blow these on a certain side to go in a certain direction. And we could go back to the start of the room if we wanted to, but we won't need to. If we blow this, which looks very similar to the thing we found near the Earth Temple, we can open that up. Ooh, this Beemos is moving. Tall and moving Beemos. Still no threat, though. Beemos just really aren't a threat on this game like they are in other Zelda games. Oh, these guys, though. I I'm pretty sure you can get a lot of money if you defeat one of these. I can't really remember how, though. I think maybe Skyward Strike. Or not. Oh, yeah, you have to break these things first. And then maybe Skyward Strike it. Maybe I need to shoot something at it? I don't know. I'm just gonna try to ignore it. Oh! I should have got that treasure chest before. So I'll head back there quick. Yeah, I'll bring this back a little. No! get this treasure chest, and then we can just jump down to the platform we were at earlier. So we don't have to backtrack as much. Nice. Almost fell there. I never know what side to blow. Here, we'll just blow this, get through here, and 
Guess where we'll end up. That's right. Back out in the main room. Wait. Maybe not. No, but this room connects to the main room. That, we're going to the main room next. Come on. There we go. Apparently, it's a lot easier if you're not locked on to them. Who knew? Alright, we're gonna want to move this box over across this pathway so that we can climb on it to get up into that area where there's not stuff blocking my way up. And a treasure chest. Never seen one of those before. Ooh, a time shift stone. Alright, let's hit it. Okay, now... Ah, oh, that's just an amber relic. But it's been a while since we got one. So why not get it? I usually just don't even bother to pick those up, because you don't even need that many, and they give you so many, and I did not mean to do that. Now this... This is this game's Armos. You just blow those to spin them. They open their mouth. Got a got a crystal to hit on each side. Pretty easy. Although I think there is a harder time when you have to fight like two of those at once, but. I know I'm gonna regret saying this, but that's not that hard. Got the map! Finally. Ooh, still got four treasure chests to get here. Now we're back out into the main area. And we can open this shortcut back to the start. Now here's another one of those times when we want to look at the map to see the safe routes. So I'm gonna want to be like right here with this dust pile going up to the side of this. And there's a little secret in here. Ah, jelly blob. Anyways, it's kind of a little maze in here, but... It is a little maze, so... It's not hard at all. It's a treasure chest, is there anything... There's rupee. Don't care about the rupee. It's a nice picture of some ancient robots. Got some 
not so nice enemies flying from the sky and got a very nice goddess plume. Nice. We'll just make our way back through here and go get out of this vent maze and go further through that sand maze, which also isn't hard, but anyways, ah, it's shooting electricity at me. Alright, go forward until you get to that spot there at the edge of this. Go forward again. I'm assuming I just go straight across. Yes, I do. I could also go up there if I wanted to, but I don't see why I would. Let's go through another quick vent maze. Is that the wrong way? That is the wrong way, okay. Rupee, I don't care. Even if it was a good amount of rupees, I wouldn't care, because my wallet's full. Rupee. Dead end. All right, and we're out. Ow! Man, that's gotta hurt. How did that not kill you, Link? Anyways, we're out into this big sand room, and you can just blow the sand away somehow. I don't know where it goes. I mean, you can practically get rid of all the sand in this room. Which, if I wasn't on recording, I actually might do that. I did the first time I played through this game. I'm kind of almost doing that now, but... Alright, where's my pathway into there? Wasn't up there, was it? Just this little spot I didn't get. No. Ow. Okay, I guess it's around this way. There we go. Ow. There's a treasure chest over there I just uncovered. Small treasure chest, so it's not that important, but we'll go get it. Ah, there's a button there. Red rupee. With a full wallet. Opens the door, that's what I figured, even though I didn't even get to see that the door was closed. Ah, oh, I went off the ledge. That sucks. Alright, back out in the main room again. This cart has a time shift stone in it, but this video is about over, so I'll save this for next time. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.